Since the Office of Budget Responsibility published their last official forecast for the economy and the public finances in March, a number of things have got worse in the outlook for the UK economy. In particular, most independent forecasters have downgraded their forecasts for growth both this year and over the next few years. And in addition, tax receipts have been weaker this year than were expected by the OBR in March, and more so than would be expected purely from the weak economic growth. So you're saying uh, in your report that there's an optimistic scenario and a pessimistic scenario. Let's start with the, the pessimism, get that out of the way. I, if things go badly, what is the outlook for the next, whatever, six, seven years? The pessimistic scenario that we set out essentially assumes that all of the bad news over the last few months reflects a permanent problem rather than purely a temporary cyclical problem. If that turns out to be the case, then the Chancellor would be in a position where he may need to announce something of the order of a further £23 billion worth of spending cuts or tax increases by 2017-18 in order to stay on course to meet his fiscal mandate. Well, that sounds pretty good. Give us the optimistic scenario, which is that uh, these are just temporary problems and that the economy grows. If a more optimistic outlook happens, and that's that the weakness over the last few months is a purely temporary problem, then the Chancellor may not need to do anything in the medium term in order to meet his fiscal mandate. So that is that in the medium term, tax revenues are sufficient to cover non-investment spending. However, um, the fact that we'll see higher borrowing over the next few years, possibly than the OBR forecast in March, may be sufficient to nonetheless put the Chancellor on course to miss his second fiscal target, which is to have debt falling as a share of national income between 2014-15 and 2015-16. Uh, the tre now, I'm just going to tell you here, a Treasury uh, statement uh, just come uh, through to us. They say they will make their forecast alongside the, uh, the autumn statement. Uh, and uh, well, action taken by the government has cut the deficit by a quarter. A million new jobs have been created. Tough economic challenges at home, but the government is taking tough decisions. Uh, are they right? Are they on the right course, do you think? What was set out in at the time of the March budget was a plan to cut borrowing over the next few years. What we're saying in today's report is that there has been further bad news for the UK's public finances over the last few months and particularly if some of that turns out to be a permanent problem then the Chancellor may have to announce yet more fiscal austerity on top of what has already been announced.